Hi viewers! This was going to be a quick video showing you the moon and talking about some things, but as you can not see, uh, the sky is overcast right now. There you can barely see her. There we go. She was totally covered a second ago. That was just a brief break in the clouds. That's probably going to be the only glimpse I get. Here, let's wait one more second. Oh, it looks like the break in the clouds is just going to miss it. There we go. All right, anyways, so as I'm walking over across campus late at night, I wanted to show you the moon because it looked so awesome earlier, but now there's a lot of clouds so you can barely see it, and I know that you can't see my face, so just think of this as a podcast if you can't see me. This is just a quick little thing to update you and say, yeah, it's the full moon, it looks cool from here, and in bulk was just recently, and I was unable to do anything very formal for it because Imolk is in a time that I'm really busy at school. The beginning of February is very busy, and I had a show that weekend, a project that I was doing with my roommate that was really successful. We did a reading of a show called The Great Nebula in Orion by Lanford Wilson, and I played Louise. So that was a lot of fun. I was very busy, and I'm looking forward to, in the future, being able to actually bless all of my candles on Imolk. That's the one thing that I really want to do. And I can't have candles on campus here, so I am unable to do that. Um, so pretty much all I did is I sang this little song. I wrote my own song chant thing for Imolk because at Yule... Sorry, I'm walking by a building that makes my voice echo and it caught me off guard. At Yule, I used a rewritten pagan version of a traditional Christmas tune, and I realized that I really enjoy incorporating song into my Sabbath rituals because if there's just a break in between the different parts of my ritual, I insert the song in between it, and it's a really cool way to tie it together for me. So I like sang that all day as I walked across campus, but that's pretty much all I did to celebrate the Sabbath this year. So I hope you all had a good one. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that last week on The Pagan Perspective, our topic was Silver Raven Wolf. And anytime you talk about Silver Raven Wolf, you're just inviting people to attack you if they disagree with what you have to say. And so I got a couple of nasty comments, and I just wanted to say that when things like that happen, it really just makes me sad and sick of people because we're supposed to be intelligent human beings, number one, and most of us are supposed to be adults. And so when you start calling me names and things like that and just being really childish. It hurts for a second until I realize how absolutely childish you're being and how you have no idea who I am or what you're talking about. You're just assuming that you know what I know when you obviously don't. And so then I can just kind of brush it off my shoulder and say this person isn't talking about me at all. They just think they're talking about me. But I just wanted to remind people that when you disagree with people, that, that doesn't mean that you're right and they're wrong necessarily. It, people have opinions, we all do, and they differ, and that's okay. And you can have an intelligent conversation with someone that you disagree with, and it can be okay. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to attack people. <laughs> you don't have to be right all the time, and you're not, so just get over it. That's about it. That's my daily walkie vlog, and I am where I need to be. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, and blessed be.